everybody, welcome to the new scrolls. Come on, views and files. Welcome, thanks for tuning in. If you guys want to see a lock talk, please stay tuned. All right, everybody, here we are with another lock talk. And um, of course, I did a poll. You guys know I like to do polls. I did this poll. Um, on the community tab on my channel and I asked you know um, uh, one of the questions was how do I mean no sorry um should I cut my hair before I start my locks okay and I like to accommodate my subscribers as much as I can so that's why I did the poll so here we go okay so um, basically I would say for me just to give my opinion just and we're having a you know a lock talk um, I would say that if you have a relaxed, you know, a relaxer and you're growing it out and your ends are straight, I would say cut it because you're going to have to cut it anyway, you know, unless you just want to hold on to the ends just so it could be longer and stuff like that. You're going to have to eventually cut it and you don't want to start off, you know, locks with damaged hair anyway. So you want to make sure that your hair is at its healthiest and then whatever the case is, if your hair is already natural and you just want to get a trim prior to, that's cool too, or you just want to cut your hair anyway it's really up to your preference you know at the end of the day but I know a lot of people you know do come from the relaxed hair and then they want to get locks I would say just cut the ends okay because at the end of the day and if you have heat 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 damage hair cut those ends because you basically you don't want to try, go into another journey with you know other baggage meaning other you know types of issues and you're bringing into a new journey which is is not good so just cut it get rid of the baggage and start anew okay so that's what i you know would suggest you know not trying to tell you what to do but if you want to go on ahead because some people like to hold on to them ends because it's like you know make your hair look long and stuff like that but you will get there okay boo you will get there unless you just you know um you know you want to cut your hair and you want to start in the baby baby stage like the little little coils like that and then just go from there or you know whatever the case or like what i did i just basically jumped out of the loose natural and just started to coil my hair and that was it and that's what a lot of people do especially if they are natural they start out with the two strand twist or they do the coils or whatever the case is um some do a trim prior to some do a big it, it, it's really up to your preference at the end of the day when you think about it but what i say if you are a relaxed um a relaxed um, you know, um, person coming out of that, I would say cut the ends because it's not healthy. Like I said, you don't want to come into a new, you know, journey with, you know, damaged ends, you know, that, that doesn't make sense at all. You know, it really doesn't make sense at all. So I would say, you know, don't even, don't even do it. Okay. All right. So, um, that's just basically about that because you don't, you just don't want to, yeah. Um, the other part of the lock talk, I was going to do two different videos, but I might as well combine it because that was kind of quick. All right. The other part of the video of the lock talk is going to be about lock extensions because that was kind of quick. So I was like, I might as well combine them together. So here we are with another video. I mean, another part of the, um, another section of the lock talk. Um, um, one of the questions that was in the poll was, um, how do I feel about lock extensions? Well, lock extensions is basically like you attach a piece of hair to the lock. So I could attach a piece of lock to this hair and make it like longer or however long that I want to. Some people reattach their locks that they cut or reattach other, or, you know, attach other people's locks that they know, or that was donated, or they get some faux locks that, you know, they, that was prepackaged that they bought from the store. So it's really, really up to you or crochet you know just basically crocheting full locks in your hair or whatever the case is um i don't see anything wrong with that uh, there are some people in the lock community that kind of side eye that like i don't know what you're doing like please like get out of here and um I've had some family members to to do that and they and their hair is way down their back and um it it, it wasn't a um it wasn't a problem you know as your hair grows they they start to fall out or whatever the case is so i think that is a good idea especially if you don't want to wear wigs this is to the, to the women you know if you don't want to wear wigs to hide the little coils if you really start like the baby baby stage or if you have even some people are not comfortable with this you know stage so um and they don't want to wear wigs so that will be the next alternative if they want to do that you know and some people kind of shy away from that because they think it's like uh it's fake and stuff like that i mean do what you gotta do boo you know i don't wore wigs i didn't did crochet for a minute like i don't i don't have a problem with none of that you know there's some, certain things that i don't do you know but um like with the lock extensions that wasn't in my my thing i didn't care about the about my hair being a certain a certain 
you know, limp. I didn't want to do the lock extensions because I didn't want to go through that. And plus, you know, that's money that you have to buy. Or if you could do it on your own, but nobody wants to go through that whole hassle of doing that because... I mean, I didn't even know how to do it on my own if I wanted to do it. So I would just say I don't have a problem. I don't side eye anybody for that. And I mean, you know, there's like I said before, there's a lot of people that are that are locked that do side eye people that do do that. I guess they say they're cheating. But at the same time, I don't think it's really cheating because it's like their hair is growing. Their hair is still like that length once they put it on it's just that they have an attachment you know and um so because some people are a lot of people are insecure about you know how their starter locks look so they decide to get the extension locks you know so like I said I don't have a problem with that because everybody has their own way of, of doing things and you know and and I think I think it's not a problem you know it's still you know it looks natural if it looks natural and you know and you're trying to get to a stage or a point where um, at the end of the road where it's going to be where you don't need them anymore you know they're going to fall out that's that's the end goal you know so at the end of the day it's not like they're going to be in there forever is that they're just t you know they just want to go a little bit quicker and then have the look already but then you know have the other things fall out and then you know come out you know with with, with their hair with that length or whatever the case is so it's like I don't I don't even think that there's a problem with that um you know because some people are are very like I said before are very um conscious about the way they look with a with a certain look you know especially you know they scared probably that oh my head looks big or I look weird with these and it's my first time you know having locks so I want to have them long so I can be able to style them so they won't look weird and stuff like that so I need to get these lock extensions and stuff like that so everybody has their own you know preference on how to do it so I'm not here to tell anybody no not to do it I, I think it's fine you know I think it's cool you know just you know basically and also if you um want to see how they look that's why I always encourage like if you want to you know do crochet braids and see and see because the last crochet that I had in my head them them locks look so natural I forgot what oh my goodness I can't even think of them but they look so natural and that was the icing on the cake you know other than my brother telling me for years to get locks and you know I think my mom told me a couple times and then people would tell me oh yeah you would look good with locks that was the icing on the cake once I saw and then and this lady was like oh I love your locks I wish I never cut my locks and I was like oh thank you <laughs> I didn't even say no I was like thank you babe. you know so I was like dang maybe I should try the locks you know the lock journey you know and that's what happened right after I took them them crochet locks out um that's when these became okay all right so let me stop but anyway but um that's basically about that but yeah so i don't have a problem with lock, um, lock extensions um i think it's cool like i said there's a lot of people in the lock community that be like Ugh, or they'd be like you know and i don't have the, i mean everybody has their preference you know i mean you know maybe they you know think it's like not not good or like i said they think they're cheating or they like you know everybody should love the way their hair looks you know and stuff like that and i always encourage that too like you should always love your hair the way you know you like it but also be feel comfortable with with it you know so I guess that's the only you know that's one of the ways that they could feel comfortable with their hair especially some people like to wear wigs you know prior to because they don't like the little beady bees or the uh, not the beady, you know like I'm already saying or they don't like the little the little baby baby stage you know and that's and that's okay you know because I know a lot of people that have that done it as well worn wigs you know prior to it you know getting to a certain lift to where they felt comfortable so that's why I said feel comfortable and and in and, and your hair and things of that sort if you have to do certain things to get to that end goal you know then I guess you know that's do you boo boo but at the end of the day I didn't do that I did crochet braids I, I did that but I didn't do the extensions you know like the extension part like attaching it on you know um but I have done the crochet braids which was like you know my feel to see how it how it looked and I I did it twice I believe I had two I did two sets of full locks I believe in my head um I don't know if I did three but I know I did two so that last one was so natural it wasn't even funny and I was like yeah this is me all the way okay so that was basically about that so yeah so that's 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 just basically about that y'all so I don't have no qualms about people that do the lock extensions I, I think it's cool you know whatever floats your boat you know you gotta wear them and things of that sort like I said before I've known people that have done that um and have taken that route and also um, as far as, you know, cutting your hair, like we discussed earlier, cutting your hair um, prior to, like I said, I really stand on that. If you have damaged ends, you need to cut it, cut it. And even if your hair is natural, and if, if it's damaged ends, cut it. You know, not, you know, maybe you need a nice big trim or a nice trim, not saying you gotta start from little BBs. I didn't, but I'm just saying, 
you know, like, but but if you're coming from a relaxed, you know, hair and transitioning, those straight ends got to go because they're, they're not going to look cute. To me, they don't. You know, I, I mean, maybe that's your look. That's what you want to do, boy. But... Nah, not yo. Let me stop. But anyway, I digress. But that's basically about that. So yeah, so that's um another session of Lock Talk. If you guys have any more, you know, requests of Lock Talk, please let me know. If you like these type of videos, please let me know. Like the video, share the video, subscribe, and things of that sort. And um, please let me know, um, you know, in the comment section below, um, what do you think about Lock Ascensions, and what do you think about um. Um, about starting your locks and things of that sort. Should should you should you cut your hair, whatever the case is, and also with the lock extensions, like you know, like I said before, like what do you think about them? Do you think that you know you side eyed them, like uh, you know, like y'all cheating, you know, something like that, or you know, like let me know, let's just dialogue down the down the end of the comment section below, you know. So that's basically about that. I don't know why I always say description bar below because it's like it's interchangeable. <laughs> it's interchangeable. It's like I say, I look at the description bar for this, and then comment section below. It, it, it's so much when when you're up here on YouTube. It's like, uh, but anyway, I digress. Okay, you guys. So I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful blessed day. Blessed day. Man, watching the name of the coach. Couple of things. Couple of things. Marketing. Peace. Bye.